Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday. And although, and as you kind of heard that last week, finished up on mm, Star Wars for now. But, you know, and this now of which is for just a handful of Spongebob sets. And now you're probably wondering, why are you reviewing a few Spongebob sets? Well, as for someone who well adores Spongebob a lot and well misses the line, same with Just Do Good and Demonor Productions, of course. Which I'm sure a lot of you do, too. Is. But also, at the time of this video, rumor has it that they might be gaining the rights back to Spongebob or something. But is it true? Comment below if you know any insights or anything about this rumor. Then comment down below. And if it ever does get to be true, well... It would be great to do so. But, anyway. So, today's of which is on uh, Glove World from 2011. First of all is Spongebob himself. Well, this of which did come in a couple other times. Well, with the kind of more chipper look. With the open mouth and, of course, cheeks and all. But, uh, unfortunately... Could have had some yellow, or I mean white, uh, uh, arm printing for his sleeves, of course, but at least this is alright. And if you're not sure how it works out, is it's kind of one large thing that goes over a regular minifig torso, kind of like the Ewoks and Chewbacca, of course. But besides that, these do get some good printings around it, and, and of course on the top of it, just a single stud so you can attach different things to it. And not an only back torso print, although it would have been nice if they did have some prints all around for his holes, of course. And next to which is this exclusive version of Patrick, at least with the duck bib and the uh, uh, ice cream flyers, of course, because since, of course, it's a reference to an episode when they were sitting around with his ice cream and he says, yeah, that's the problem with this brand. But, and of course, although the leg print to which, kind of alright, like, even though it doesn't go all the way around, of course, and not in only back torso prints, it's, it's an older figure, and also, face print kind of exclusive to this one. And next to which is Sandy Cheeks, who did also come in the uh, Rocket Adventures sets, but never any of that were the actual tree dome, of course. But as for the front torso print, of which is done quite goodly with the acorn symbol of some kind, but also, the complete lack of a of her tail, of course, since, of course, the Alaskan bullworm took it or something. <laughs> and if you're sure, wonder how the helmet piece works, which it just kind of splits apart, you know, and the headpiece, which is exclusive to her. And has tiny little uh, things in it that make it link together. And this they did use a lot since, but just different coloring and everything. Well, if they do bring this around nowadays, then I would say let there be a tail piece for her. And last of which is a Glove World attendant. And the, so not at all neat like printing and also some quite all right torso prints. With about the headpiece, then there's a slight bit of yellow there for whatever reason. And of course, this fish headpiece, which did come in some other sets, but just different colorings and different prints to it. But of course, it, like this, did remain exclusive to it. And of course, it has a single stud above acting as a little hat or something. And of course, thin behind. And just like Patrick, holding one of them uh, ice creams, but 
but with an actual kind rather than a stud. And now onto the set itself. First of all, for the two builds, is get this little entrance stand, which I see has a couple of technical bits acting as a uh, what do you call it? A little rotational entrance thing. Uh, not sure what you call it, but also above it a little printed tile, or I mean tile that has a sticker on it saying Glove World, of course. And of course, kind of color scheme of like white and blue and or white red lightish blue and of course a little bit of others as well. And also this ice cream menu, of course. And from the back, quite vacant, but of course enough space to fit your ice cream man on too. And also good use of these, like. Uh, curved uh, slopes, yeah, curved slopes, and also a pair of jagged slopes as well, I guess that, and of course, the glove sign, of course, and also, quite like the use of the rigid brick, of course, since, of course, some things in the show are kind of like rigid, made with bamboo, since, of course, they're neurotropic wants life, you know. And the other build of which is this little, uh, what do you call it, little uh, Ferris wheel type builds. See, some very little bit going for it, like, see, mostly some jagged slopes around. Then, of course, one of the double jacket one above. And you wonder what that little cylinder thing is. Well, that's for the main feature. Although, do you get some bit of tan plates representing the sands near Bikini Bottom, of course. And as for these uh, seat builds, so which done quite good lately, so good sloping to it. And of course, a little sticker tile that has the Glove World sign. And if you look kind of Wishing, and of course, enough as a uh, what you call tiles in there, which is enough to fit a mini into it. And of course, with all in, you can turn that and they go all around. Which clever, great feature. Quite plenty of fun for it. And so the final verdict on this one is overall this is which a pretty good set for its time and like get a few minifigs of which, but two of which that are exclusive and all. But of course. Although a little bit of Glove World, although it would have been nice if they included an extra build of which, although that may have, although that would have bumped up the price or whatever. But at least I can forgive this for what it is. Like, at least going to have something different in SpongeBob that we didn't usually get, like, outside uh, the Pineapple House or the Krusty Krab and all. Course. And if you still have this set from its time, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to it, then I'd say truly get it. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it for this video, and thanks for watching.